We're still following that breaking news tonight in Wilmer. That's right. We told you earlier a teenager was shot by a neighbor after that neighbor found the teen beating his grandparents. It happened on Timberland Drive. That's where our Candace Murphy is. Candace, what have you learned so far? Well, we have a lot of new information to tell you about. Deputies uh, are still on scene. A few just left. And what we've learned so far is that two brothers were inside the grandparents' home. One of those brothers' names? is Mason Jordan. He's 18 year old. Apparently he went into the home, started fighting with his brother. That's when we're told the grandparents intervened. At that point, deputies say Jordan grabbed a bat and started swinging it. Now, they say that he didn't physically hit his grandparents with a bat, but he was threatening them and swinging that bat. That's when deputies say the mother of the two brothers went over to a neighbor's house asking for help. One of the neighbors came over and fired a warning shot. Now, this time, Jordan was outside and he had a knife in his hand. He started making threats, according to deputies, that he was going to go inside the home and kill his brother. That's when deputies say the neighbor fired a shot that hit Jordan. He was taken to the hospital. I'm told he's currently in surgery right now and he is expected to make it. Neighbors say that deputies are called out here often. There is fighting out here often. I'm told the grandparents are going to be okay and that uh, they're doing fine right now. So just to recap, it was a domestic dispute here in Wilmer where two brothers were fighting. Grandparents stepped in to uh, try to break up the fight. That's when we're told Mason Jordan started swinging a bat. The mother went over to get the neighbors for help, and they ended up shooting Jordan in the upper part of his uh, torso. So he is expected to make it in surgery right now. We will bring you uh, more details as they come along on Fox 10 News and on Fox10TV.com. We're expected to hear from Mobile County Sheriff Sam Cochran tomorrow, who will give us more information about what exactly happened here. For now, reporting live, I'm Candace Murphy, Fox 10 News.